Hey guys, what's up? Michael here. So, I'm gonna be trying something new. Every Sunday, I'm gonna sit back and kind of reflect on everything I did during the week and share it here with you guys. Uh, this week, I was working on some new curriculum in the Odin Project and really hit a wall with objects, modules, and I didn't have a firm understanding, so it's really hard to move on. So I'm gonna be taking some time going back and reflecting on all the steps in between and really hammering in those fundamentals and uh, figured what better thing to do than share them here with you guys, all right? So every week I'm be dropping a video kind of going over what we did this week and without further ado, let's get into it. First big thing, if you guys haven't noticed yet, here, yeah, right here, I made a Twitter, so go ahead and follow me over there. I uh, share all kinds of updates. I started the 100 Days of Code and I'm posting a lot over there and sharing my journey, you know, and trying to see what other people are doing. Really cool thing, a lot of fun. And it holds me accountable, you know? So if you have it, go follow me over there and smash that subscribe button down there below, all right? Give me a like too while you're at it, why not? Help a brother out. All right, so let's get into it. Every week I'm gonna be showing you guys the code that I've worked on alongside the project so we can see both kind of grow over time. Uh, this week we kicked off with the Odin project, continuing it I should say, and we're working on objects, modules, uh, classes. We started using NPM and Webpack, which was, that's a lot. That's a lot to set up, but it's really cool what it gives you access to. And um, learned a lot from that. And also I made my first git ignore file. All right, so we're ignoring some stuff in git for the first time ever. The first time I saw git ignore, I couldn't figure out or understood how it worked. And I really didn't understand how you can make a dot file name, but then, you know, I did it. And it's very simple, by the way. All right, and I like to preface this by saying I am absolutely terrible with objects right now, like terrible, I need, so much more practice. That's why I'm going back to the basics and um, trying to really hammer in those fundamentals. But enough talk, let's look at the projects. So the big project for this week was to make a restaurant page with only one div in the HTML. So there's one div for the main section and then everything else is rendered through HTML. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. As you can see, when I'm on the web page here, when I click the home, Oh, obviously we're home, so nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, so when I click the menu, boom, we get our menu up. It's just a div with that beautiful, that box shadow right there, blends in beautifully. But it's just a div um, with some, a black div with some opacity in it. And then I tried I tried to work on my color contrasting skills, you know, the black, orange, and, and white with the coffee brown background. I think it blends really well. I'm still not an expert with that yet, still learning. But I like the way it looks. And um, each menu item is an object inside of an array, and we're just kind of going through and pinning and putting each object, each property of the object, I should say, into the div in that order. You know, each div is the three pro the three properties of the object: the name, the description, and the price. And we'll look at the code in a second. I just want you guys to kind of see how it functions. And we have the about page over here. I didn't know what to put in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was having some fun. All in all, I liked it. Easy project, uh, not too complicated. The background really sets the tone for this entire thing. It's very simple outside the background, but I like the way it looks clean, it's simple. I'm a fan. Now let's take a look at the code. All right, so here we have the code. So this is the HTML. As you can see, the only thing in the HTML is one, one div for the content, one div. That's it. And obviously the uh, script to bring in the JavaScript, now, with this project, they had us use NPM and Webpack. So I actually learned how to set up the, the, the dist, the, what do we call that? The dist folder inside of the restaurant folder and then the source folder. Now, to clean this up a little bit, I could move the images folder into the dist and probably the style sheet into the dist, but you know, this is my first time doing that. I didn't think about it at all. But yeah, so that's that. Now, from here, we can go into the source folder, which has all of our JavaScript in it. We have the about page job. We'll start with the index. We have the index page here, right? This is the home page, right? And since we're using modules, we're importing everything else into this main one here. So like the nav, the home, the menu, and the about, right? So the nav is made over here. It renders the top part if we take a look at the website. All right, so now if we take a look at the code for the nav, because all it is is the home, the menu, and the about, we can take a look at the code. And we can see here that, oh, you guys hear my dogs giving them hell out there? And we can see here that the nav code is really simple. It's a function, render, right? And inside that we have 
a constant variable called nav items that has an array of home menu and about a strings, right? Just what you see up there. And then we have another uh, variable for the unordered list. And then for each we go through, we create the, the list item with this function here, this create HTML element function I made. And then we just append that. Now the create HTML element function was pretty cool. I've never done anything like this, making a function that help you create and like name or give classes to HTML, HTML elements. So we'll take a look at the function real fast. It's real simple. We have everything I want to get from it right here, right? We want the type or everything we want to create. We have the type we want to create. We can give it an ID. We can give it a class and we can put the content in it, right? And really cool function. If you guys ever want an easy builder function for building HTML elements, it's super dope. Um, big fan of it. You can give it multiple class names because the class names go in as an array. Uh, you can put the content in there and, and it puts the content as the inner text. All right, and this is the home page. This is the bulk of the HTML. It builds the majority of what you see here. And let me hide this code so you guys can actually see it. There we go. So this is the home page. Still pretty simple. The nav's rendered on all the pages. The nav never goes away. So the home page is its own module. And we call that module on the index page. It's also called on load, so that's why we get the home page when we first open up the web page. Very simple. And whenever we call the home function, we're calling render nav and obviously render home, and we're clearing the inner HTML of the content div. Tough to explain that one. It's a mouthful. But if it follows that same formula for everything else. The menu is the same way. Uh, we just have the menu items in the object, like I said earlier. We have the objects in an array. And kind of just, just like we did for the nav, we cycle through and we append everything. Super straightforward. You guys want to look at the code some more. And then lastly, we have the about page. And the about page, nothing too fancy over there. Again, we're just pinning all the content to the main div. The main div is the one constant, right, through all the pages. And then every time we cycle through, we just throw everything else onto that div. And then we just append everything to the content variable that's also being exported from the index page. So the index page is grabbing hold of that main section div, and then every other module is just appending everything to it. That's kind of the whole philosophy that that page was built around. Um, easy to do. I liked it. Good project. Really gets you more comfortable with objects and JavaScript and modules in general. And yeah, I'm a fan of it. All right. So that wraps up the project for the week. I know it wasn't anything too glamorous. I did start another project. I started a to-do list, but right now it's like a bare bones HTML um, skeleton. I kind of just kind of drew something up in HTML real fast to see how I'm going to style everything. And now I'm working on using the JavaScript to actually build that list out to install everything. That's where I hit the wall with objects. I'm trying to I have a form and I'm trying to take in all the inputs on the form and put them into their own object and then pull those same things from that object out and display them. And that's very complicated for me right now. And I'm also trying to do that between different modules and have each module do its own little part of that, like have one module build the object and then have another module kind of render everything from that object, but I'm still, things aren't connecting yet. So I'm still working on that. That's my big project I'm gonna work on next week. And yeah, I hope I'll get that out to you guys soon. But I don't want to ramble on for too long. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for showing some love. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow the journey, hop along, like the video, and don't forget to check out my Twitter. Give me a follow over there. Come a follow on Twitter. Yeah, give me a follow over on Twitter. I'd really appreciate that. And you guys have a good one, all right? Peace.